Hello, in this video we will learn how to perform modal analysis in ANSYS workbench. So this is the first window when I click on ANSYS workbench icon. In this you can see the analysis system. Since we are going to perform modal analysis, to so select the modal system, drag it to the blank space and release. You can name your modal analysis. The first step is to create the geometry. So go to geometry, double click on that and wait for design modeler to open. So we'll create a two dimensional sketch of a cantilever beam on XY plane. So go to the modal analysis tree, left click on XY plane, right click and select look at, then go to sketching, select rectangle, and draw one rectangle with the help of mouse in the second quadrant. Now we will constrain this rectangle using constraint tool. Select coincident constraint. Let us select these two lines so that they are coincident. Again, we will coincide this line of rectangle with the horizontal axis. Next, go to the dimensions. Select horizontal length. Select these two lines to define the horizontal length. Place the dimension change the value of the dimension to 100 if it is meters okay. next select vertical select these two horizontal lines to place the vertical distance in between label of that distance is v2 let us change the value of that distance to 5 okay. next select the modeling tab Expand the XY plane, select sketch. And now we will use extrude tool to add the material normal to the sketch plane. So select extrude, apply the selected geometry to the extrude tool and change the depth of extrusion, say to 30. And click on generate. Okay. And you can check by rotating the sketch plane. Okay. So this is our cantilever beam. Okay. Now let us close this design modeler window. The next step is to model the cantilever beam. So we will double click on this model and wait for the model workspace to open. we have here so first of all let us generate the mesh we'll use the default mesh here so select mesh from model tree and click on update so it will apply the default mesh to the cantilever beam you can see the type of mesh here now click on module model right click insert the fixed support so this, since this is a cantilever beam we need to fix one of its end. Let us select this face as the geometry to fix and apply to the fix support. Okay. Now this end is fixed as indicated here. Now click on the solution and solve. You can see here tabular data is generated for first six natural frequencies of the cantilever beam. Okay. Values of these frequencies are indicated in this table. Now let us find out the deformation corresponding to these six frequencies. Okay. So select these values of frequencies in table, right click 
and say create mold shape results. The six results of deformation corresponding to the six natural frequencies are highlighted in the model tree. Now, let us generate the results for these deformations. For that, just click on solve. Okay. Results are generated. Now, to view the results, you can select individual mode shape and check the deformation corresponding to the frequency. Okay. Now, let us reduce or change the number of modes. Here, we have obtained by default six modes for changing the modes click on analysis setting under model and change the value say we will change the value from 6 to 4 okay and then again i will say solve okay. let us delete these last two values So these are the first four mode shapes. These are the values of corresponding frequencies. And to check the deformation, we will select the first mode. Let us apply the tag to check the location of maximum deformation and minimum deformation. I will also select show undeformed wireframe model. Okay. This is second, this is third, and this is fourth one. Now to check the displacement type, let us select the first mode and click on play tab under the graph section. So first mode shape is of bending about the z axis. Next I will select the board shape 2 check the type of deformation it is again the bending but now it's about the y-axis now we select the third mode and check the type of deformation it is sliding okay then for fourth mode shape the deformation is of twisting about the x-axis You can rename this in the model tree, say mode 1, this is mode 2, this is mode 3 and this is mode 4. Now if you want to view the results of all these four modes simultaneously we can make use of viewports okay i will select four viewports then go to first viewport select the first viewport and click on mode one so results of mode one will now be highlighted in viewport number one then go to viewport number two select on mode two results of mode two will be highlighted here go to Viewport 3 and select mode 3. Results of mode 3 will be highlighted in viewport number 3. And select viewport number 4 and select mode 4. Results of mode 4 will be highlighted in viewport number 4. 